Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All right, guys. Today, Leroy gets its new motor so we can go on our quest for sixes. So every time we got down to a 7.0, this thing would bend a rod. So now, we've got a new motor over here that Pete Harrell himself built. Look at all this freedom they told me they said you're gonna need bigger turbos bud sounds like this motor is good for whatever we can throw at it we got mast heads lsx block it's what leroy needed it's just all a matter if we can put it to the ground but i'm gonna give you guys a time lapse of swapping them out Pete Harrell, what the heck are you doing down here in Florida? I don't know. I just wandered down here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a Leroy and we got a Pete Harrell engine in it now. Right, yeah. That's pretty cool. Right, first time ever. How much power are we working with now? I don't know. Depends how hard we push these little little spinny things. Yeah. <laughs> it's adjustable. All right, well, give us a rundown on the engine because I didn't take delivery of it. Zach just slapped it right in when it got here while I was at the airplane race. Okay, so it's, it's still an LS. Yep. Like it was before. Original block. Same, same block same that was block, in it. Same block. That's the same. We stuck with Cathedral Port heads because your intake was Cathedral Port. So yeah. So it stayed that way, but the heads are probably bigger and better. They're, we showed them the mast heads. Yeah. Right. Those yeah. are pretty nasty heads. They're, they're mast heads, and they should, they're just, they're, they're, they're big. For Cathedral Port heads, they're really okay. big. Okay. And then uh, we destroked it with the plan on turning it more RPM. Not a 427 it's anymore. It's not a 427 anymore. What's it down to? I think it's like a 392. Okay, so it's that's interesting. Stroke, basically the same bore that it was. But real high RPM is what right. we're going we're, for. We're, we're going to turn this thing more. and. How much RPM are you wanting to turn it? Well, we'll see what we need to, but it's, you know, if we need to go nine, we can. You know. <laughs> um, All right, 9,000 RPM, man. That's the new shift point, baby. Right. <laughs> we'll see. All right, yeah, well, these clutches we'll like RPM. Right. The clutches love high RPM. That's so. right. That's why we did this. So. All right, sweet. <laughs> we were bending rods and stuff before. What kind of rods and pistons do we have now? So it's got... Callie's Enforcer rods, which is their huge I-beam, big power steel rod. Um, okay. Pistons are Wiseco. Okay. Um, custom, the way we yeah we, we do a lot of motors similar to this. So. Okay. You said they got a coating on them, so we got to break it in, change oil, yep. and then hop on the dyno? Right. The coating is abradable. It wears in and goes straight in your oil filter, so we got to swap all that out, and then we'll be good. Okay. And Sounds crank, good. Crank is Callie's. Nice. Well, Zach's under here putting some counterweights on our clutch, so when we hop on the dyno, the clutch won't try to slip like it's designed to slip at the drag strip. So we get that dialed in. We'll fire this thing up, warm it up. By the way, love the paint scheme on the engine. Right. 
That's got to be worth an extra 200 horsepower I'll if uh, my calculations are right. At least 200. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Clean. I mean, look at that. The stars on there. We should have got the motor plate painted too. Yeah, yeah, you ready to make a lot of clutch adjustments this weekend? You know, it's been a long time. It's been a hot minute. I got the Pro Jacks loaded up so we can, you know, get, <laughs> oh, yeah. get them all picked up. You're going to be under this thing a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be hot. Not it'll be have worth fingerprints, it. but it'll be worth it when we win. Yeah, that's the idea. Engine's all ready, guys. We're plumbed up. We're ready to fire this thing off. All right, Zach, you want to hit the key? Hit the starter? <laughs> Let me crack some lines. That's too easy. <laughs> That's too easy. A plane just came out of there. Idle and low. You want to put some idle in it? Running a little rich right now. Dude, I haven't drag raced in a while. I was just looking. My racing suit's like dusty. I'm like, man, I gotta dust this thing off. Wow, that clutch is it's in dyno She's mode. She's got a lot of base pressure in it. She's in dyno mode. So here's the thing, we can't make a big dog pole with this clutch yeah, or no. it will kill it. Dude, Leroy on the dyno, brother, fire me up. This is one of my favorite things of all time. Just love the way this car sounds. I don't know why it's always sounded so cool. Just because it's Leroy. So we're on the dyno, making light poles. We're gonna make one little baby pole right here and then we're gonna change the oil. So the baby pole is to get whatever coating is on these pistons. It's like magic dust. Get a little bit of heat in the motor. Shut it down, go to lunch, change the oil, and then we'll start making some real pulls. Partial rip, 5,000 RPM. Leroy doesn't know partial, brother. I it's going to be hard to contain it. It's all right. He'll do it. All right. Thousand ish. Okay. Just easing into it, man. Easing into it. He's just breaking her in, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's different when you have the engine builder here in the shop with you. You know, <laughs> you can kind of send it when they're not here, but he's watching us like yeah, a He's like I right there. <laughs> <laughs> he flew, came down here specifically for this reason. <laughs>
Pedro just farted out 800 horsepower. Literally farted that. <laughs> I mean, too easy. Too uh, that easy, was to dude. the floor. So right. That's all she had on gate. Right. And I went 6,500 I saw on the dash. I only added 500 while you told me. <laughs> I'm scared for our clutch's life. Last time we were on the dyno, Dude, we yeah. ruined that thing. <laughs> we do. A lot of discs. We don't want to. We don't want to get into our disc stash. It's been a while. Not on the, the dyno. dyno. You know what I'm saying? It didn't slip at all on that one, and I like that. Dude, Pete's up arrow is about wore out. He had to replace that before he came here. The last thing we need is him hitting that thing. That's a custom titanium up arrow for the boost controller that he had to add on his laptop. All right, that was a grand total of seven pounds. Seven Sweet. pounds of boost. Let me just turn Six this and a half. bottle on for you here. Sounding clean through 7,500. Oh, yeah. So, what do you want me to do? 8,500 next pull? Well, we'll just go eight or so. Okay. Right. Not going but too we'll crazy. All right. <laughs> All right. Pete's pretty happy with everything, I guess. Right, Pete? Oh, yeah. Looking good. So, what we're going to do is add a little bit of boost. We got like six pounds of dome pressure on the wastegate. So, hopefully, it makes maybe eight pounds of boost, 10 pounds. It'll make a little more than that, probably. Oh. But we just want to make sure the O2 is. Yeah. We had a little. Uh, oxygen sensor issue so put a fresh one in there hopefully that'll solve that the wide band is reading a little weird on the air fuel ratio if that's all good then we can try more but we're going to make sure we're good also going to test the boost controller a little bit see if we can get some power out <laughs> Nine with two pounds of boost right. added in. Yeah, yeah. Now it might have been nine point nine. It only just says nine on the dash. Right, yeah. That's a significant improvement, That's Pete. Right. What right. do we do now? We'll put some. <laughs> we'll stack some in it now. As long as stack our two is in it, brother. <laughs> let's make, let's be done with this. <laughs> I'm scared for my clutch. <laughs> 9.4 pounds of boost. 9.4. Well, that's that's got. easy calculations because if it made that much boost, it made about 950 <laughs> horsepower. So you know we just multiply it by. 100 whatever our boost number is so go ahead and put 50 pounds of boost on it make 5,000 exactly and then we're good easy math and then we're going 620 right. <laughs> what the hell is going on over here dude we're trying to dyno leroy and got a whole front end put on I this see rig, you dude. guys got a blazer going on just uh zip tie putting it back together a whole new front end that was solid it's solid oh, wow man. double zip tie <laughs> double up there a couple more down there nice zip zip tied into some new headlights okay and do we have a bigger supercharger pulley up here it's got the same pulley on it that it had when it won fl2k last year okay all right so we're ready for fl2k as ready as we'll ever be she's I mean, a stallion it won we'll the last do. one there's almost no chance it doesn't win this one <laughs> <laughs> so we got the 950 class for this also dude i bought a tech card for the 1050 class for neighbors what? so we're gonna be racing like 12 cars <laughs> you know dude i figured we just got to be ready for every class so we don't have to sit around at all. Yeah, there's not, not going to be a lot of sitting around. I know. So we got streetcar class with McFlurry, 950 class with this, 1050 class with that, Extreme 28 with Mullet, Stick Shift with Leroy. James, what are you running your car in? No 
no time. The no time class for the 240. So, I mean, yeah, what could go wrong? It's just going to be a freaking live action weekend at FL2K. How much boost are we going for? The 15 on the dome. All right. 15. 15. We made 9.4 and made 970 horsepower. So, 15 whew, should make about 15,000 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Was it clutch or tire? It was uh, tires. Oh, good. That may, yeah. That so, makes me feel better. So the drive shaft is just right with the motor the whole way. Okay. So we didn't kill the clutch. Right. We just, just tore these up a little, bit. These a little bit. Suckers are not looking good after that. They are at the wear bars, so we're probably going to put some freshies on for the weekend. Right. Curious how much boost that was because it sounded like 50. <laughs> the way it lit up. Let's see. Uh, 17 and a half. 17 That's and a half. Peak, but it only did that for just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> split second. That was pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, 17 pounds uh, of boost. 8,300. 8,300. New record. You know the deal. All right, well, that's cool, guys. We're pulling this off the dyno. at FL2K, so we have to slow the blazer down from its normal eight to a 950 or slower. It can be as close to 950. We want it as close to 950 as we can get it. Okay, a little fast, 892 at 136. Dude, I pulled so much out of it. It's like, a lot more. It's I like guess. the blazer goes backwards. You pull you power out, it does a bigger wheelie. Can't change it. I pulled a lot out. It's about 133 of the 60 foot. That's like its best 60 foot in a while. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta look at the laptop. I pulled a yeah. lot out. Pedaled it nicely on that one. I'll yeah, give him that. That was probably his best pedal job. That was seen. really good. Well, you knew he had to get good, or we were gonna swap out drivers. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Dude, you're not supposed to go 890. 890. You're supposed to go 950. <laughs> That's my fault. Yeah, the good I'll thing I pedaled it. Yeah, hey, that was, one of, your, that was one of your nicest pedal jobs. <laughs> we were just saying, good job on I'm that. I'm not gonna. 08 on the tree. All right, we got to practice that too, all of us. Come on, brother. <laughs> Buddy, let me ask you something here. Uh, Are you ready to be banging gears in Leo of the Savage? I am fired up, dude. With a fresh <laughs> Pete Harrell engine. That's right. I so, mean, it's cooled down. It's the night is young. Leroy's just been watching the fun happen. That's true. It's his turn. That's right. Oh, boy. It's been too long. The OG Bradenton Motorsports Park Corvette. <laughs> Oh my gosh! 
brother. Okay. Are you kidding me? 15 pounds of boost. That ain't nothing, dude. All right, we got Leroy up on the stands. And since, you know, Pete, you don't tune clutch cars, what do you think we should do to the clutch? Just leave it? For now. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna add power and slip a little more. Yeah. 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 Zach, we're going to leave it. Just check it out, all right? Make sure it's dialed. It's good, actually. Looks good? Okay. No dust at all. We'll leave it and we'll revisit this after the next run. Going to the eighth mile again. Okay. All we right. We had no reason to go to the quarter tonight, so. Sounds eight, good. Yeah. And you're going to floor it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fully dialed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Got his lights on. The... There we go. Nice burnout for Leroy. to the 60 foot and then it did that deal it gets where something happens Hot, and yeah. the thing gets pissed but uh <laughs> yeah it was about to be sounded bad, great bad. well it did that little hopscotch thing yeah, yeah. it also was kind of ripping through the clutch like i don't know if you guys can hear it's way louder we could, we could see it it dusted the clutch a little bit on the leaf but I think we just, with the additional power we added we need some uh some clutch yeah. Yeah, tightening up the clutch slip a little bit. Yeah, so. still at 125 of the 60. Yeah, let's, it needs to hit earlier, so I think we need base turns. Yes, yeah, it's like about that. There's that's a big that. delay between when I lift and it starts really pulling, so let's put like a full turn of base in. And... All right, Georgie. Ready to rip the blazer again? All right, so ideally we don't do a big wheelie. Yeah. And go a lot slower, which is really a weird. Lot slower. We're trying to go slow. We might have too much boost, but we're gonna try and pull some more timing out, see if we can yeah. get it to do it. Well, we can't quite make it to the class to go faster, so we gotta get in where we fit in, you know? Yeah, I know. Dude, we wheelies, know it. Wheelies are only good on race day, do when the photographers are here, but yeah, I know. You got no one here taking pictures of no. your wheelies. Uh, trust me, I didn't. That see, good thing I didn't really trust that anymore because I pedaled it. <laughs> Otherwise, usually I just floor it. But now all I have right. trust issues. Well, we'll pull more out. I'll show <laughs> you the laptop. All right, George. All I can say is hold on, brother. Well, how do you? What do you <laughs> 
Dude, he, he labeled this one hold on. So don't no, know what that means, bud, but I'm good serious. luck. All right, so if you guys understand tuning just a little bit, walk through this. This map pulls timing out. So it's pulling 20 degrees when he lets go of the trans brake. One second in the run, still pulling 11 degrees out of the base map. So it's pulling just power out, yanking it out, killing it. If this doesn't stop it from doing a wheelie, then like, I don't know what will. It has never stopped it from wheeling before. Only the shift has. Dude, you, you just drive. Quiet okay? down, oh, driver. <laughs> Quiet down. Enough. Enough from you, dude. Good luck. <laughs> All right, see you on the top end, dude. Nice. Nice. All right, no wheelie. No wheelie. Maybe a little one, but a baby wheelie. Remember, 950, guys. Damn it, dude. <laughs> We're so bad at making things go slow, guys. I don't want to try that. brake pedal and noodle. I think the brake pedal, pedal, the brake pedal all, was just dude. losing its mind. 895 at 153 on the deck. I but mean, the wheelie's gone, dude. Yeah, the wheelie's gone. We slowed down the 60 foot to a 148. Yeah. What are we going to do? We got to turn the boost down. know how good your tuners are what you want to know how phenomenal There's your no tuners way. are was a 950. guess what it went 920. 890. <laughs> <laughs> nine, hey, i thought a, it was 890. there's a 95 in there <laughs> yeah yeah we went, we went a 950 but <laughs> on the said that, second like, there's part no way it was a nine <laughs> i was like that thing Listen, went way too fast you just keep doing your thing jack stan and i got this we under got control yeah, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait for our next stunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a spare crankshaft. We're gonna figure gonna something out. That pulley on it, I, think. I think you're gonna definitely have to lower the boost. Left the tune alone, tighten the clutch. Perfect. We're gonna see if that just gets it moving. Gets it boogieing a little faster off the line. Tighter 60 foot, you know. All right. The engine's making a lot of power. So we just gotta utilize it better with the clutch, I think. And then keep going from there. Nice. This felt too damn good. Bro, the rider <laughs> says it all. Just let you know what it is. Right, Real dude. good at doing That's stuff. That's right. He done did it. <laughs> 118, 60 foot, 314 Ooh. through the middle, 480 at 148 to a 748 at 182. 
<laughs> she loved that. And it that. sounded like it was on half the booster oh, run before. Oh, for sure. Moments like these, I look at Leroy and I'm like, dude, this car is so cool. Even with its tail light out. Hey, here he is. I know I was supposed to lift, but the throttle stuck. <laughs> oh, darn. Yeah, dude, unreal. Ready for this? Yeah, let's hear Start it. of the 118 to the 60 foot. <laughs> 314 to 330. Shoot. 480 flat on 148. <laughs> 748 on 182 <laughs> out the back. <laughs> Effortlessly, dude. Golly. Sneezed it out there. You know what they hey, say. Almost faster than bullet. I know. <laughs> Dude. All right, that's solid. I just gotta say, bud, what? great, great job on that clutch. Uh, yeah. You know you. that math you did there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> smoke enough cigarettes and you can be clutch yourself. Bro. It starts with back in my day. Yeah, no back kidding. Big day. tire bars. <laughs> We used to have to change our clutch on the way to work and on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill both ways. Overall, it's a ripper. Thanks, Pete. Engine works. Yeah. Works <laughs> great. So we went a 740 on 20 pounds of boost. I feel like we have some good data to go into FL2K and have a capable seven second car. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we can just put it to work and compete with all the six second stick cars that are coming. We'll do our best as always. Leroy, you know, he just is a champion. So get out there, do what we can. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching New for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Calling him already. This is uh, Ryan H. from Dresden, Ohio. Please leave your message for Ryan. Let's call him back. Double call. Last day? Double call. It's the last one, dude. Come on, Ryan. We about, said about if to you make win. it like a, you have to answer to win thing, but <laughs> it's too unfair. Oh, there you are. Ryan, dude, what's up? <laughs> well, I'm really glad you answered, buddy. I mean, you already know what this call is about. You're the winner of the last XRT, buddy. Shut up, dude. No, no, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're crazy. Nah, <laughs> nah, dude. I'm glad you picked up. Dude, I was expecting, if anything, a call yesterday. Yeah, I know. I know. We just didn't have video for I yesterday, so I'm calling you today. <laughs> I, did, I didn't win, though. Didn't I was happy with my air fresher. Well... Now you got an XRT to go with your air freshener, dude. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thank Be there in a couple days. See ya. Thanks, man. Bye. All right, guys. Good long video, but that's it for today.